China just unveiled a laser weapon that can silently take down drones, fast, clean, and with pinpoint precision. The OW-5, a 50, isn't science fiction. It's a 50-kilowatt mobile laser system designed to stop low-flying threats before they reach their target. In this video, we're breaking down what makes it so advanced, how it actually works, and why it could change global defense forever. Imagine a laser defense system that doesn't need a power truck, support crew, or hours to set up. That's the core innovation behind China's new OW-5, A50. Mounted on an eight-wheel drive military-grade truck, this laser system redefines what mobile air defense can be. Everything it needs, power generator, targeting suite, batteries, and control center, is built right into the vehicle. That means it can operate completely independently. The design prioritizes rapid deployment. Once the vehicle arrives at a designated location, the crew can activate the system, raise its sensor mast, and be fully combat ready within minutes. Its optical and radar-guided sensors rotate freely. The OW-5 A50 isn't a prototype or a stationary lab system. It's a self-sustaining platform meant for real-world use across diverse terrain. Whether it's desert flatlands or rugged outposts, this truck can roll in and hold its own. What sets the OW-5 A50 apart from earlier generations of laser weapons is its autonomy. Previous laser systems often required multiple vehicles to carry the laser generator, control station, and power supply that made them slow to move and complicated to set up. Narinko, the Chinese state-owned defense manufacturer, solved this with an all-in-one design, allowing a smaller crew to deploy a high-energy laser weapon virtually anywhere. And they didn't sacrifice firepower to make it mobile either. The A50 variant delivers a powerful 50 kilowatt output, the highest among the OW5 series. Engineers also focused on making the OW5 A50 reliable and modular. Its internal systems are built to handle long run times, with an onboard generator that charges up a high capacity battery bank. This ensures sustained operation even in remote areas with no grid access. The vehicle can keep its laser charged and ready to fire as long as fuel and maintenance are in place. With its ability to move, power itself, and engage targets autonomously, the OW-5 A50 challenges the traditional idea that laser weapons are stationary, high-maintenance systems. Small drones have become one of the most disruptive elements in modern conflict zones and strategic operations. They're cheap, fast to launch, and increasingly capable. The OW-5 A50 was engineered specifically to address that evolving threat. It's not designed to shoot down fighter jets or intercept high-altitude missiles. Its specialty is stopping low, slow, and small aerial intruders with pinpoint accuracy. The 50-kilowatt laser at the core of the OW-5 A50 is powerful enough to burn through lightweight drone frames, disrupt guidance systems, or overheat their electronics in a matter of seconds. And it does this without ammunition. No missiles, no gunfire, just a concentrated beam of light that silently disables the target. That makes it incredibly efficient and low cost. While a drone might cost a few thousand dollars, traditional surface-to-air missiles designed to take it out can be 10 or even 20 times more expensive. The OW-5 A50 turns that cost model on its head. Another major advantage is safety and control. Unlike explosive weapons, lasers don't leave debris scattered over wide areas. When a drone is disabled mid-air, it either falls inertly or burns up partially on descent. This is especially important in sensitive environments, like near airports, urban areas, or critical infrastructure. The OW-5 A50 gives operators a highly precise, clean tool for dealing with airborne nuisances. Its tracking system is also highly integrated. Radar first detects and tracks potential threats. Then the optical system locks on with high resolution, adjusting the beam in real time to maintain contact with a moving target. This seamless transition from detection to engagement allows the system to handle multiple threats in quick succession, which is especially critical when facing drone swarms. Interestingly, a similar Chinese laser system called Silent Hunter has reportedly been used by other countries for drone defense roles, with reports of real-world success. These operational insights likely fed directly into the OW-5 of 50's development, giving it an edge in refinement and tactical design. 
It's not just theory, it's backed by field experience. In today's world, drones aren't going anywhere. They're multiplying, getting cheaper, and becoming harder to detect. The OW5 A50 offers a direct, scalable way to manage that challenge. China isn't just building laser systems to guard its skies. It's actively looking to share this technology with the world. The OW5 A50 wasn't quietly rolled out in local tests. It was unveiled with purpose at high-profile international arms exhibitions in countries like Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and Egypt. These aren't random locations. They're regions where drone-related incidents have been increasing and where governments are urgently seeking better tools to protect key assets. Norinco has already enjoyed export success in these regions with traditional surface-to-air missile systems, such as the HQ-16 and FD-2000. That existing network gives them a trusted pipeline to introduce the OW-5, a 50, as a complementary layer of defense. This mobile laser adds a new capability, handling persistent low-cost threats without exhausting expensive missile stockpiles. There's also a strong economic case being made. While high-end kinetic systems remain essential for handling long-range or high-speed threats, they aren't designed to handle dozens of cheap drones. That's where the OW-5 A50 fits in. With its minimal operating costs, no ammunition, low maintenance, and fast deployment, it's appealing to countries that want next-gen defense without the long-term burden of restocking munitions. What's also compelling is the system's simplicity. One vehicle, one system, no need for external power, radar units, or control stations. For countries that may not have large defense infrastructures, this kind of plug-and-play air defense solution is ideal. It's easy to train, quick to deploy, and effective almost immediately. There's also some added confidence from field reports suggesting that related Chinese laser systems have already been put to use by other countries for real drone interception. While details remain limited, the fact that these systems are reportedly already in operational use gives buyers assurance that they're not investing in experimental tech, but in a tested solution. China's approach to the OW-5 A50 is calculated. It knows where drone threats are emerging, and it's offering a system that's not only capable but affordable, mobile, and user-friendly. The OW-5 A50 isn't just a new defense system. It's a glimpse into the future of how nations handle aerial threats. With its mobility, autonomy, and laser precision, it offers a powerful solution to the growing challenge of drones and low-flying targets. Its cost efficiency and clean operation make it appealing not only for local use, but also for global export. As drone technology spreads, systems like the OW-5, A-50 could become essential for protecting infrastructure, borders, and airspace. This isn't a prototype or a concept. It's a fully developed platform, and it's already changing how the world thinks about laser defense. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.